Romans 1, verse 16 and 17, it says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. How many people would say amen? amen? For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, that is, is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your word. Jesus, we thank you for breathing upon it. Holy Spirit, speaking to our hearts today, we are so very thankful that it's, it's alive, it's pneuma, it's rhema, it's, it's a revelation to us. So we pray, Lord, that in our hearts, in our lives today, your word would have impact and we would go away changed. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, today finds us on the precipice of very interesting circumstances. How many of you guys are enjoying all of the wonderful commercials you're seeing everywhere you go? They're so uplifting and so encouraging and not at all scathing and maligning anyone. They're, it's just, I feel so warm. Here's the thing we know. We know that, you know, change is upon us one way or another and half the people will be happy and half the people won't. We know that for a fact. Here's the thing. As Christ followers, we follow Jesus first. And as long as you're following Jesus, no matter who else is running, whatever country you happen to be from or live in, including our own, thank you, Jesus. God bless the USA. But I'll say this. We follow Jesus first. And because we follow him first, guess what? Come hell or high water, you're still with Jesus. And so the whole thing is that we're with him, and so we don't have to dismay. It's not a tearing and an ashing of teeth come, come election day or the days after, and we find out that your person or the other person that you hate becomes the person. It, it, guess what? Jesus is still on the throne. And that's the thing for us, so we don't have to worry. We, our faith is in someone higher than in man. And in mankind. You know how I know? Because we've lived in other countries where it wasn't as open as this. There wasn't any dialogue. There wasn't any making fun of the other candidate. Because if you did, you died. It's like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, weird. All my family is gone suddenly in the middle of the night. You know what I'm talking about? So the freedom we have here, thank you, Jesus, for the freedom we have here. And it's definitely not a perfect system a long way from it, but we have the freedom to voice and to stand and to place our vote. And we encourage you to do so. Use your vote. And the questions that we have today that we answer in starting this series is very things. These two questions. One, what do I believe? What do I believe? The reason you need to ask that question is because what you believe will navigate how you live your life. If you believe that Jesus is on the throne and you're okay, then you're going to live according to that. And if you're not, then anything that comes against you is going to make you full of anxiety and stress and your life is going to be over before the circumstances hit you. So what do I believe? It's a personal question. Second question, why do I believe what I believe? So why do I believe it? So where does it come from? What is the idea? Did I hear someone say it? Did pastor teach it to me? Did I hear a neighbor say it? And I think they're cool because they have a nice haircut. What is it? You see what I'm saying? You think that's as silly as it is, but it's not. That's why we listen to like celebrities and sports figures. Did they do anything to earn your respect? Probably not. They're really good at putting like a ball through a hoop or in a net, or they're really good at acting on a film, but have they done anything for you? Have they ever been there whenever you needed a friend? Have they ever walked through you as a brother or sister in Christ? But see, we still look to these kind of people because they have influence in our lives. The question is, why do I believe what I believe? 